Lizzie, I'm going to be late coming home today as well. I won't be needing anything for dinner either. Wait, today you have to stay late again? A lot more work started to flow in, so... But you told me before that you'd do your best to be home from work earlier today. What else was I supposed to do this time? I have work that needs to be done, and there's no getting around that. But due to you never being home anymore, I'm not even able to have any time to myself. Really? Just go take a long bath or something, then relax. I have to take care of your mom, so I can't just take an hour to relax. If something happens to her while I'm in the bath, how will I know? I'm sorry, but there's just no way for me to relax while you're not around here. You have Gracie there, right? Just have her watch over mom. She's only in the fourth grade, Shane. I get that she can do simple things for your mom when she asks, but that's all she can do at the moment. She can't help your mom to the toilet or anything like that. Then how about you get to it and teach her how to help mom to that? That's a great way to get her prepared for the world, right? And if she's able to learn that quickly how to do things like that, it'd be a huge help, but... However, I'm trying my very best to not have my own daughter take care of your mom for us. Why not? Why not? Because she shouldn't have to do things like that at her age. That'd be like forcing her to care for a baby at her age, and I hate that. I'm fine with Gracie helping me out a little bit when it comes to your mom, but that's all I want. It shouldn't become something she has to help me with day in and day out. She's just a kid still, and I just don't like the idea of that. But caring for an aging mother is something the whole family should be a part of. I think she'll be fine. If you're going to say it's something the whole family should be a part of, then why aren't you coming home to help us out more with your mom? And I'm working a very important job right now. That's the foundation for a family, right? It's because of me that you don't have to work a job and care for my mom all day long, right? Because of you? You're the one that forced me into this spot, right? I wanted to have her put into a home so that she could be looked after by professionals, yet you said otherwise. You think I put my important mother into a home for the old and dumb? I can't believe you're able to just throw our parents aside so easily, Lizzie. I'm not putting this out there as a way of throwing her aside, though. If anything, retirement homes and places like that will be a lot better for her than a house like ours. I've heard from lots of people that putting your parents into places like that will only make them go crazy sooner. And you've heard on the news about some of these professionals not helping out enough with the elderly or doing other far more hideous things to them, right? And those are rare cases, right? We just have to find a place that will make sure to care for her well and that doesn't seem fishy in any way. I also have friends that take care of the elderly for work, so we can ask them where they think your mom would do best at. And I'm sure they'd recommend the homes they work at since they are all very hardworking people. Are you sure they aren't just saying they work hard to make you like them more? I mean, they can say whatever they want about themselves because it's not like the old senile people they care for are going to speak out. You have no right saying that when you never even care for your own mother who's in your house. You just come right home and pass out on the couch. Have you even talked with your mom yet about what she thinks when it comes to going to a retirement home? I'm sure she'd want to tell you her opinions on it. I'm really too tired when I get home from work. What else am I supposed to do besides sleep? Well, we're on the same page then because I'm tired as well. Also, I'd really just like a little time to myself, all right? And not just that, but I'd like time to take Gracie out to buy new clothes and things like that. Well, when the helper comes to look after my mom, then you can take the time to go out with Gracie, all right? We already paid that person enough to come in and help, so take advantage of that sometime. Right. Then I guess I'll be doing that. But remember not to be going out of the house too long, okay? If you're out for more than an hour or so, that helper will start to charge us even more. All right. But after we've bought her clothes, is it all right for us to go out and eat a little? Huh? Why can't you both just eat at home? Why are you trying to waste time and money like that? I'm not wasting anything, Shane. It's already been a year now that we've had your mom living with us so that I can take care of her. And during that whole year, I haven't had a chance to take Gracie anywhere to eat outside the house. 
So what's wrong with every so often taking her somewhere nice to have some different food? During the summer, Gracie went out to your parents' place, right? I think that was more than enough fun time for her to have spent. That was time she spent with my parents, Shane. She never had any fun spending time with me or you during the summer. I've always had to stay at home taking care of your mom and have told her to wait so many times on me to finish up here before we can go out and play. But you know what? That time has not come yet for her. So please, let me have this time with her. No way. You hurry up and do that shopping and get your butt right back to the house. I'll make sure that from now on I'll take Gracie out to eat more. Are you sure? Yeah. That should be good enough for you, right? Well, as long as one of us is taking her out to have a little fun and enjoy some other food, it's fine. Then I'll go out with her to get some clothes and then be right back home. Please. And make sure not to buy too much, alright? Gracie hasn't even grown that much since last year, so there's no reason to go overboard. So only the thing she needs this time, please. I wanted to have this place remodeled at some point, so I'm saving up all the money I can now. Sure, I can do that. Uh, by the way, what time do you think you'll be home today? Probably not until late, late tonight. I see. Be careful on your way home, okay? Then good luck with the rest of work. Hey, Lizzie. Did I hear that you collapsed? I just got a text from Gracie saying so. Did she text you? Well, I'm in the hospital right now. What happened that caused this? They're saying this all looks like appendicitis. And so very soon here, I'll be getting surgery for it. Huh? Surgery? So does that mean you'll be staying in the hospital for a while? Yeah. What's going to happen with you taking care of my mom? Well, from today, I'm going to be in the hospital for three days. And I just thought about asking my parents to come and take care of things for me. Are you thinking of asking your parents to come and take care of my mom? Asking them something like that is going a bit too far, don't you think? But there isn't anyone else that I can ask to run over to the house last minute like this. And Gracie is also at home. Um, how about Rachel? You're talking about my mom's little sister? Yeah, she had talked with me on the phone only a couple of days ago. She said when she's in town, she'd be willing to come to the house. When would she ever be in town around us? She lives way too far away from us to ever have any business here, right? So don't ask her to come and look after her older sister when she's so far away, please. Then, I guess that leaves us with asking my parents to come and take care of your mom, right? Stop that. We're not going to be asking your parents for anything. I'll take some time off work to be at home. What? Are you too busy right now, though, to do something like that? Is that going to be alright with them? I don't want you saying things like that. Do you think I was going to do nothing for you after you collapsed due to being sick? I'm your family, so I'll make sure to put in a good effort to take care of things while you're in the hospital. Shane, oh, thank you so much. You're my wife, so doing something like this can go without thanks. But for the longest time, you've done nothing back at our house. Well, that was all a little bad on my part. I was just really busy at the time, so I had no way of helping you out, but... Starting today, you can leave caring for my mom and raising Gracie in my hands, so hurry up and get better, okay? You don't have to worry about the house for the next few days. All right, thank you. But I will have to be around my mom all day, so I don't think I'll be able to come to the hospital to see you at all. And there's no problem with that. I have my purse with me already, and if I need anything else while I'm there, I can borrow it from the hospital or get it from the convenience store here. I'm sorry, Lizzie. Now, good luck with that surgery you have soon. I'm going to go explain all that's happened to my boss and get right back to our house. Sounds good. Thank you, Shane. Uh, I already made dinner for tonight and it's in the fridge, so just warm it up and eat it tonight. And the food for your mom has been made up as well, so just put it on the stove and warm it up a bit before giving it to her. There's a small Tupperware in the fridge with mashed potatoes for her that you can throw in the microwave and heat up as well. I get it. Well, if there are any questions still, you can ask Gracie. 
She knows all there is to know about dinner tonight. And if she doesn't know, then just shoot me a message. Can you please just focus on worrying about yourself now? You never had a break from caring for my mom for the longest time, so I'd like you to relax a bit and not think about a thing for the next three days you're in the hospital. I'm sorry. I just wanted to make sure you had it all under control. Well, good luck with everything back home. When my surgery is done and I'm awake again, I'll send you a text. Mom, what should I do? What's going on, Gracie? Mom, Grandma's saying she's having a really hard time right now. What? Where's your dad? Dad didn't come home yesterday. And he hasn't been home since. What? Why not? I'll tell you later. All right. Uh, let's just focus on what's going on with Grandma, okay? Is there something hurting that's making Grandma not feel so good? She's really hot right now and feels tired. I gave her some medicine for her head, but she's telling me it's beginning to get harder to breathe now. I'll call 911 and have an ambulance head over to the house right now. Make sure that you get into the ambulance with Grandma as well when they get there, okay? Okay. When you get to the hospital, can you make sure to tell me the name of the hospital for me? Then I'll tell my parents to head over there at once to come and see you. Lizzie, listen. Yesterday you were supposed to be out of the hospital, right? That's right. What? What's happened with you? I'm sorry. Actually, I went into work today. There's this meeting that I was told I couldn't be away from today. Also, Mom and Lizzie weren't back at the house. I, I tried calling her on her phone and she never picked it up. Did they end up going out to see you or something like that? You really are the worst person I know. I told you I'm sorry about having to go into work. But I just assumed they'd be able to care for themselves for one day. It's not like Lizzie had to be at school anyways. And she had a small break from school this week. So you should understand how I was thinking of things here, right? But, well, now I'm a bit worried because neither of them are at the house anymore. That's right. Something very bad happened while you were away. Huh? What do you mean by that? Your mom had to go to the hospital because she developed a really bad fever. And so Lizzie was sent to my parents' house to be taken care of by them. What? I know about how you haven't been home for the past three days now. And that you left the care of your own mother in the hands of a fourth grader. You told her that she had to care for your mom in order to give me a break, right? I had no way of taking work off. You are supposed to be on vacation just like her, right? It's the holidays right now. I even called your office just to make sure, and not a single soul answered the phone. So where the hell did you have to go for work then? Even if I didn't happen to answer the phone at all, I was there getting work done. Then tomorrow, when everyone else goes back to work, I'll be asking your boss about you. I'll ask to see if you really did have to go into work or not during the holidays. No, wait. My boss doesn't know anything about this. I went in all on my own without saying anything to him. How much longer are you going to keep this lie going for? This is not a lie. Then you must have some evidence of yourself going into the office to get work done, right? I do. I have a co-worker that I went to the office with together to get work done. So you're telling me that your co-worker is going to be your witness then? Well... Is that co-worker Ashley? Uh... That's what I thought, Shane. That co-worker you're trying to tell me about happens to be the woman you're cheating on me with. And I'm sure she'll tell me that the two of you were together, right? What are you going on about? Can you please stop coming at me with that kind of misunderstanding? This is no misunderstanding, and the fact that you cheated on me will not be going away. You were already being a completely awful husband by making me do all of the chores at home and raise our child, as well as care for your mom. But to see that you even cheated on me while having me do all that work for you really shows just how horrible of a person you are to me. I have not been cheating on you. What made you start talking to me about that? 
You don't even have a password on your phone, Shane. Did you think someone like me who has always been so busy caring for your mom would never think that you might have been up to something? Well, that's not what I was thinking at the time. Did you know that your own mom asked Rachel to look into you because she thought you might be with another woman? Huh? I told you that the next time Rachel was in town, she'd come over, right? Well, the reason she'd be in town was to watch you and see what you were up to. Why would mom... She told me that she suspected something serious was going on with you because you'd been acting strange. She's an amazing woman, your mother. I was busy every day getting the chores done and caring for her, but she knew better than to look away from you and your phone when you got home from work. Can we get a divorce now? This will allow you to go on ahead and live the rest of your life with that Ashley chick. No, no, no. Wait a second. I don't want you to leave me. Are you starting to panic because you're about to lose the one person who's been caring for your mother for you? I know the reason you didn't want her going into retirement home wasn't because you hated the idea of her being around incompetent care workers, but because you'd lose all that money you hope to receive from her when she passes, right? Having her live in my care wouldn't require her to spend her savings and would leave you with more in your inheritance. And you just happen to think that me being busy with everything at home, I'd never even begin to think that you'd cheat on me, right? And as for that money you said you wanted to save up to get the house remodeled, that's all really meant for your other woman, right? I never thought anything like that. I'm sorry. I just didn't want to go back home. I don't like having to look at mom when she's in that state. And so, I ran from the house. And soon after, things started to happen with my co-worker. I have no idea what you mean by that, nor do I want to. If you really didn't want to see your mom in this state, that would have been the reason to have her go to a home. You said you'd feel bad if you had to send her to a home, but I think she feels even worse having to sit at home knowing about her son cheating on his wife. Why do you think she'd feel bad for that? I'm sure she never really noticed anything and was way more happy at home having you care for her. Well, she never had her own son around to help her. And you never came home to talk to her any. Your mom actually hates seeing me being forced to care for her all the time, since I also have a child of my own that I need to worry about. Every day, when I'd start to take care of her, she'd tell me she was so sorry that she was stealing all my time. She always told me that in the past, having to take care of her mother-in-law was so terrible, and that she didn't want me to end up doing the same for her. And that's why she really hoped to be put into a home where she could relax and know that she wasn't being a burden in my life. I was just trying to think of mom's happiness. The only thing you've been thinking about is your own happiness, Shane. All of the evidence we have of you cheating on me shows that. We have recordings of the conversations you've had with Ashley about yourself. You laughed as you told her about how you forced me to care for everything at home, including your own mom, so I'd never be able to find out about you and her, right? That was just me having a laugh. It had nothing to do with what I was saying, and I didn't even mean to say any of that to her. Even if that is the case, I can no longer believe a single word that comes out of your mouth. What you've been saying and what you've been doing have been two separate things to me. We are going to get a divorce, Shane. I'm going to get myself a lawyer and then I'll make sure I get all the money I deserve from you. And as for your mom, she's going to leave the hospital to enter a retirement home. She's already told me there will be no money left for you after she's gone. Huh? Why is all of this happening? Well, because of everything you've done so far. Are you trying to say that what you've been doing isn't all that bad to you? No, I definitely think I've been doing some bad things. I'm really sorry, Lizzie. I'll make sure to call everything off on my coworker. You don't have to leave her. I'm the one that'll be leaving you for good. Lizzie, I'm so sorry. I really messed up this time. This is not something you can fix with apologies anymore, Shane. You forced everything onto me at home and left your mom with nothing for you. But you know what's really made your mom and I upset with you to the point we'll never forgive what you've done? Is what you've done to Gracie. 
She had to sit in the house all day, every day, and do nothing. And she couldn't complain about the fact that her parents weren't around to be with her because I had to take care of your mom while you weren't even home. It's because of your unfaithfulness to this family that we are all upset. We can put my mom into a home now. So how about the three of us stay home and make all this right? Please, Lizzie. I never wanted to get a divorce from you, and I still don't want to. Gracie's still in elementary school, right? Having to raise her all on your own, all the way until she gets into college is going to be hell for you, right? You understand that? Gracie will be just fine. I'll have the money from the settlement I'll be getting from you. And not just that, but your mom said she'd do everything in her power to help finance any kind of schooling Gracie wants in the future. She said she'll make sure she has some money left for us after she passes, and that she wants it to be put into Gracie. Well, but hold on. Having two parents is a whole lot better than just one for Gracie, right? There are a lot of kids that will begin to hold things against their single parent knowing they'll never have two, right? I'll make sure that from now on I spend more time with her. I'll show her that I'm the best man possible to be her father. You think she's going to see someone who forced her to care for his mother and never went out to play with her as someone who can be a great father? I think you're the only one out of everyone in this family that was raised improperly. And by the way, didn't you tell Gracie to never tell me about how you haven't been home while I've been in the hospital? You said that if she told me anything about you, it would lead to us both falling apart, right? I'm not going to leave my daughter in the hands of some man that thinks it's okay to say things like that to his daughter. I'm sorry. Lizzie, please forgive me. I don't want to do things like that anymore. I promise I'll never cheat on you again. But I'm telling you that anything that comes out of your mouth is not worth believing in. This is what happens when you throw away your whole family for some other woman that you don't want anyone knowing about. I don't want to, Gracie doesn't want to, and your mom doesn't want to have you back in our lives anymore. Having your family here to take care of all your needs while you go out and cheat is ending today. After that, my mother-in-law's health started to get a lot better, and we began to fill things out so that she could be sent to a retirement home after getting out of the hospital. And when all that was handled, I divorced my husband. Of course, when the divorce was being handled by my lawyer, I was given full custody of my daughter. And after the divorce has been settled, I was able to get a pretty decent amount of money from him in the settlement, and he was left with pretty much nothing in his savings account. He had also been using a lot of the money in our house on this other woman, right? So I was able to get all that money back from her as well when the time came to send her that bill. Also, when it came to whether or not my husband had been going to work when he said he had, I contacted his boss and had a talk with him. I explained the whole situation of what had been going on with Shane and Ashley, and by doing so, them having an affair was brought to light and his boss called him, warning him about the issues that this would cause. Ashley ended up getting really mad at Shane over this, and after paying me the settlement I asked for from her, she left the company and moved on. As for Shane, he's going to have to continue paying child support for a while, so he can't leave the job he has now. But due to everyone finding out about what he'd been doing with Ashley, everyone at the office would no longer talk to him and make sure his time there was a living hell. Ever since the divorce, I've been getting calls from Shane about how he really did want some of the money from his mom after she passed, but I've made sure to ignore all his pleas. I plan to keep his number unblocked since he has to pay Gracie's child support, but unless my daughter tells me that she wants to go and see him, I'm not replying a single word to him. I'm hoping that by doing this, my daughter can grow up with no troubles in her life. And this will make Shane regret everything he's done to his family, while also having to pay for us to live on. As for what happened with housing after the divorce, I made sure to take Gracie with me and move back to my parents' house where the four of us lived together. I already had a lot of training in caring for the elderly due to being forced into caring for my mother-in-law, so because of that, I'll start my formal training next week to become a helper. And after I've graduated the course, I plan to start working as a professional helper, making money for myself and Gracie for our future. Ever since coming back to my parents' house, Gracie has had a lot more people around her to go and play with. And we have all had plenty more chances to leave the house to go out and eat or shop. 
Also, along with our new lives at my parents' house, we still have made an effort to go out and see my mother-in-law, to say hi to her as she stays in her new home. My ex may have been an awful person, but his mother is one of the nicest people I know and deserves to have me stop by every so often to chat and drink coffee together. I may no longer be tied to her family, but her and I have become so close to one another that when she does need something, she can always count on me to be there for her. And I plan for things to be this way for a very long time, all the way until she spends her last day on this earth. I really want to have a brand new, loving and caring life with all my family. And that even includes those that are a part of my ex's family. And with all this love and joy, I hope to have a much happier life than I ever had before with Shane.